Now, I just wanted to talk about, you know, that how radicalized Pakistan has become over the years. And I say that, that everyone's going to burn in this fire now. We already know that minorities have been paying the price for being born in Pakistan as non-Muslims. We already know that. I just spoke about thousand Hindu and Christian girls who are kidnapped every year. Not only just the minorities, but now Muslims will also start paying the price. Uh, you might have often heard that um, that Muslims are the biggest victims of Islam, and that is somewhat true. But now it's getting more. That notion is gaining momentum now. I spoke about some Muslims over the uh, last in the last twelve months. I think I've covered nearly four or five incidents where other Muslims have been accused of blasphemy. Practicing Muslims have been accused of blasphemy, and then they've been killed. Uh, by other Muslims. And hence I said that everyone is going to burn in this fire now. One of the guys was actually, um, I remember one of the guys was actually accusing someone else of blasphemy who was an ex-Muslim atheist, I believe. I'm not sure, actually. I shouldn't say that. I actually don't know. Uh, but he was, I remember, someone sent me his screenshot. He was accusing someone of blasphemy. So a month or two months later, that guy who was accusing someone of blasphemy got accused of blasphemy, of blasphemy himself and then ended up getting beaten up. <laughs> That's called sweet justice. But uh, not that I endorse that, but uh, it was pretty brutal beating up. Um, so it, everyone, now Muslims are going to pay the price as well. So have a look at this news story. This guy, look at this charmer. He murdered his own father for not getting up early in the morning to say the morning prayers. Now, fanaticism is fast spreading and may lead to total anarchy. That is uh, by Vaseem Altaf, a Pax famous Pakistani social influencer um, who posts all these critical posts off as well. But anyway, so ha have a look at this guy. So he actually, uh, you can see it's been blurred out. He, his father was sleeping next to him. He tried to wake him up in the morning. He didn't wake up. He said, well, good, go away. You know, screw you. I don't want to pray. He grabbed a brick and then bashed his skull in with, the, with that brick. Um, so he was trying to score some brownie points. Now some Muslims will say, oh, you know, Islam doesn't preach that. No, Islam doesn't preach that, but Islam does preach fanaticism with religion. Islam does say, cut off the hands and feet of those who spread anarchy, spread fitna. Um, anyone can interpret this verse any which way. These verses are so pathetically written in such a pathetic language that nobody can work out. Nobody can decipher that. It's, it's just bad writing. Not just a bad language, it's actually bad writing. And I'll show you that later on. Uh, but, but that's just the nature of it. Have a look at this guy. What a legend. Wow.